Hey everybody, it's Melanie again. So I've been talking with a lot of people lately and they're talking about how stressed out they are. Like they have stress upon stress and they stress over their stress and they're super, super stressed out and you may feel like you're losing your mind. So we're gonna talk about 10 things that stress can actually do to your health and why it is so important to have the ability to deal with stress. I know that sounds like I'm just saying like, suck it up Sally and just deal with it. It's not always that easy and that's not what I'm saying. Um, so if you kind of feel like you're going crazy and like you said, like I said, you have stress upon your stress, it can totally suck the energy out of you and make you feel like crap. And you feel like maybe you're the only one and you're lethargic and you just don't want to, right? You can't even and you don't want to adult. <laughs> Those are things that stress can do to you. So what are 10 things that it can do to your health? And this is, this is really serious, more so in women than in men. And I'm not like trying to say, hey, women are the, you know, weaker sex or anything like that. But if you kind of look at men and women, women handle stress way differently than men do. Totally different. Like, we're equally stressed. I'm not going to say that, you know, we're more stressed than men are, but we handle it different and it can really take a toll on women's health. So that's kind of where I'm going to go with these 10 things. So you're going to hear me say some things and I'm going to keep it very brief. I'm checking my time. It, this is going to be linked with a blog that will elaborate, but just know that keyword here is hormones. Stress can mess with your hormones and in turn cause these 10 health issues. Okay. So not only can stress affect, like we know this stress hormone, stress hormone cortisol, right? So when the cortisol is either being released too fast or not released enough or released too much, whatever, it taps out, okay? And I'm just going to go briefly into this. And then it has a complete domino effect on all these other hormones causing more health issues. So you'll hear me kind of rattle, rattle off like insulin, progesterone, estrogen, thyroid, adrenal glands, um, and maybe some other th uh, hormones I'm going to throw in there. But it's all going to be linked in the blog so you'll know exactly what in the heck I'm talking about. Because I'm just going to briefly go over these 10 things that if you're not handling stress or dealing with stress and if you continue to stress upon stress, it can cause some really bad health issues. And you may have these issues and not even realize they're related to stress. So let's go over them. Um, so when your stress levels are high, your cortisol levels are high, your adrenaline is like flipping out like crazy. So adrenal fatigue is probably something you'll hear me say in the blog also. But let's talk hormones since I've been talking about that. Stress is a huge, huge thing to putting your hormones out of whack, out of out of balance. So you're going to hear a lot of these things that I'm going to talk about are related to hormones like weight gain, right? Now I'm not going to say like, hey, if you're eating so much, clearly you're going to gain weight if you're eating a lot, but maybe you're stressed and that's why you're eating a lot. But there are things that go on in our bodies that turn off the hormones or turn on the hormones that tell us we're hungry and not hungry. So we're stress eating. So we could be gaining weight, which could lead to a lot of other things. Um, so another hormonal thing is like no libido. Like you have absolutely no sex drive because when you're stressed, your estrogen levels are whacked out. So that could be a huge thing. Now, some guys may be like, look, clean it up, fix it, work it, make it work. It's not always that easy. It really isn't. But when you can figure out like what's stressing me out, how can I handle the stress better? How can I de-stress myself better? These health issues may never ever or may never come into play, or they may be easier to be fixed, right? Irregular periods. Again, estrogen, progesterone, it just alters the balance of it. Stress really messes it up. Um, acne and hair loss. Those are two things that the androgens in your body are like another hormone that will um, you know, change the hair follicles and let the hair fall out. Like you may hear people who have alopecia and they say, Hey, stress is a huge factor of why this started. Alopecia, and I'm not going to go really crazy into it, is like an autoimmune disease. And I'm not saying like it is an autoimmune disease. So hormones, all these crazy things. And I know that some people are like, Hey, how do I fix this? It's way deeper than that. I can seriously talk to you about it all day long. 
on a side note. I don't want to keep everybody here all day. So acne and hair loss. Um, and sometimes you don't notice hair loss until months after you've had a stressful event. Months. So it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm stressed out. I've pulled out my hair. Like that is a stress-induced um, issue to where you pull your hair out when you're stressed. But that's not what I'm talking about. Um, so poor digestion. If you've ever seen any of my lives, read any of my blogs, or talked to me, you know how I am about digestion. A lot of it starts there. Okay, so when you're stressed, you know, you've got butterflies in your stomach, your stomach is in knots, maybe you feel like you're often going to be sick. It changes your stomach acid and it could cause so many things that go on in there. So number eight, stress can lead to depression, right? Because you just feel like you're, you're climbing, climbing, climbing and you fall back down or you're almost out of that hole and you fall back down because you're so stressed and you have this inability to deal with stress. So you're like, forget it, I'm not adulting anymore, I'm depressed, I'm staying in bed, and you just feel like crap. So, and another thing that could result from that is insomnia, because you're so stressed, you cannot shut your brain off at night, you cannot relax, the hormones that are supposed to be working to help you sleep are not working. So you're jittery, you're kind of tired, but you're, you know, you're wired, it's all different crazy things that go on that we can't just shut our minds off at night that we're overstressed. And number 10, which this is huge, is decreased fertility. Women who live very, very stressful lives or stress over stress or stress over trying to get pregnant will notice that it's even more difficult when stress is at higher levels to get pregnant. Like some people, they just need to look at their other person and they're pregnant. Other people who are so stressed and have high levels of stress, which cause hormonal imbalances, have such a difficult time getting pregnant. So these 10 things that I just talked about, hormones, weight gain, reduced sex drive, irregular periods, I missed that one. I totally missed that one. Uh, I, no, I did not. I didn't miss that one. Acne, hair loss, poor digestion, depression, insomnia, and decreased fertility are huge things that can result from, huge, I don't want to call them things, huge health issues that can result from being overstressed and messing up your hormones. So that is so huge when it comes to the ability to deal with stress, how much stress we allow in our lives. And there are so many different ways to handle it, but I can tell you what, I've created this program and I'm gonna put a link in the blog to watch a webinar about it. Created this program that will help you balance your hormones, ignite your metabolism, um, work on all the craziness that you that is going on in life and the people that have done this have noticed that they felt better they are less stressed they feel more like themselves and being less stressed means any stress that comes into your life you're kind of not as jumpy about it so you can handle it way better so i do encourage you to yes check the link in the blog that leads to this webinar that gives just the lowdown of it all and how the hormones are supposed to be working in the body and when they don't work, what happens. Because you may not even realize that these things are affecting or being affected by stress, should I say? And then you, you may not realize what they're affecting in your overall health and wellness. And when you know that, you can make some changes in your life to where stress isn't so crazy, you feel better, your hormones are doing well, and you're just kind of like overall feeling the way you're supposed to be feeling, not batshit crazy anymore, right? So that's all I have for you guys. I wanted to put that out there because I've been talking to a lot of people who are like, just, I'm so stressed and don't know what to do. How do I handle it? We need to work on it, okay? Because otherwise, these health issues and more can arise. So that's huge. That's all I have for you guys today. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. And you know, I always go over. I try to keep it under five minutes, not always. Um, so have a great day. And if you would like to chat more about this, message me, comment below. I'd be more than happy to have a conversation with you about it and go further into like, hey, why am I feeling this way? How do I fix this? How do I work on it?